Hey, hi, hello, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to Bougie Budgets, where we're always being bougie on a budget. My name's Lambo. Thank you so much for being here. I'm a 23, not 33. Don't know why I did that. It's been a long weekend. If you know, you know. I'm a 23-year-old full-time college student. I have three classes remaining until I get my four-year degree, and I also have a two-year degree in mathematics as well. I have a full-time job and a part-time job that I haven't been to in quite some time. I live in a one bedroom with my boyfriend and some furry friends and I'm just trying to set myself up for financial success and freedom in the future. So if any of this interests you, stick around, hit that subscribe button, go ahead and get some water. I do have some water over here. I kind of want to show the cup, but then also, mm, mm, you know, you know, <laughs> but today... We have a short and sweet as per usual let's be real we have 115 dollars which is a 100 dollar placeholder and 15 real dollars so let me just slide these guys up here so we can make some room summer is right around the corner if it's not already here for you guys i do live in the midwest area of the United States so yeah it's starting to warm up over here and today is particularly warm so the AC is on um and yeah not excited for the AC bill to go up so what the ace what well I'm not making any sense shocker but is this right you guys, we might have to do some math here because I don't know if this is right. So we have 50, 80, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170. Is there 170 in here? I already opened this. 170, 50, 100, 120, 140, 160. Okay, there is 170 in here. I'm not sure why I thought that was off. But we're going to add $10 into 52 weeks because the funds are limited this week. But yes, you guys, it is getting warmer out. And I'm not sure what um, bill technically the AC goes on. I guess it's electric, right? Technically, it's electric. I don't know. I'm just a kid okay <laughs> i'm just trying to survive at this point seriously okay ten dollars going into 52 weeks so now we have 50 100 120 120 140 160 170 and 180 dollars in 52 weeks so this is slowly getting there which is awesome we have to skip Roth IRA we did it for the month of April and it's honestly looking like for the month of May that I'm going to have to skip Roth IRA as well because off camera I've been putting a lot of money into my health I originally at the beginning of the year made this health out of pocket max savings challenge. Let me skip ahead here for $1,500. That isn't my total health out of pocket max, but I had to start somewhere. And I thought that would be a good place to start, but I have any money that I was going to put in here has been spent on my current health and it's been a lot of money this year so far for it. Um, and at this rate, it seems like I'm going to end up maxing out my health deductible, which I've never done before as a young adult at all. And just to keep in mind, my health deductible or health out of pocket max, because that's what I'm referring to here, is higher than $1,500. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go back 
over to my emergency fund so I can add $100 into here. I am trying to put what I can into my emergency fund, but honestly, I feel like I've kind of been in the midst of an emergency for the past six months because of my health. So I'm trying to cash flow it. And so far, it's been going okay, but I don't know. It's just taking a lot of time and mental space and money. And I honestly feel a little bit down in the dumps about my health but i'm still trying to keep a positive mindset i'm doing as much as i can um and it'll get fixed it'll all it'll all work out in the end it's just this timeline is a lot longer than i was anticipating and I'm going to have to fund it with just the one job I have. So, yeah. Let's add $5 into my pet's emergency fund to wrap up the savings challenges for this week. I still feel very grateful and very blessed that I'm even able to save this amount of money. Um... And yeah, now that I'm getting towards the end of April, I'm going to get paid soon. I only get paid once a month, RIP. <laughs> so I'm ready to get paid so I can budget, figure out what May has in store for me. I do have some things, some fun things coming up soon. Pet emergency has 50, 70, 75, 80, and 85. So I do have a few things to look forward to. I am trying to keep a positive mindset. I will, it'll all work out. One of my priorities for 2024, or one of my goals for 2024 that I made on New Year's was to prioritize my health, which is why I partially made this envelope. Um, and I knew, or like I had a little, what's the word, stipulation with this envelope is that I would make sure my regular health envelope, so let me pull it out here really quick. I wanted to make sure my health envelope remained a priority so this envelope is the main priority and then this envelope is the next priority so I'm choosing to put more money into here to cash flow and then once this settles down or honestly at this point once I end up maxing out my out-of-pocket max which like i said it's above this it's above this amount and we're probably gonna end up hitting at that um once that is reached i believe then that means you don't have like copays i don't know i'm just a gen z or trying to get by okay but yes i think once you max it out then you don't have to pay for like copays or anything so then i can start putting money in here <laughs> so that is the current plan but honestly the main goal at this point is to just keep my health up as much as i can do everything i possibly can for that and it'll all work out in the end um and yeah anyways i'm ranting too much i appreciate you guys if you are still here if you are go ahead and put a green check mark in the comments below so that i know that you're a real one I really, truly appreciate every single one of you. And as usual, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Peace.